Today's show is brought to you by Prescott Honda. Better cars don't cost more. And by The Office Restaurant and Bar. Dr. Tim Kimmel with us, Executive Director, Family Matters, and author in praise of Plan B. I always like a Plan B because usually my Plan A falls through. <laughs> now, Tanya, that's, that's not so true. So a Plan B is good. That's not that's true. We're just talking about Tanya. She was the perfect student. Exactly, oh, no, yeah. I wasn't. Uh huh? Straight no, I A's? wasn't. Almost perfect. <laughs> straight A's. I, I married a straight A student. Uh, us, us ADD dyslexic students always, um, you know, we make a couple of major choices in life and one's on our wedding day. Mm -hmm. There's an old saying, you're either doubled or halved on your <laughs> wedding day. I was quadrupled on mine yeah. and I married Me a straight too. A student and uh, I always felt that you should have vowels and consonants on your report card. You know, so you know, I my, got let my dad play find a word or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I thought F stood for friends, and yeah. I wanted to do all I could get. Yeah, you know, or fine. Exactly. Oh, yeah. exactly. Uh, family matters. An uh, overview of what you do, doctor. Well, we what we try and do is help bring uh, help families bring the best out of each other. Family is a, a a place where I think life is making up its mind more than any other. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dimension like of our that. life. That's a good it, line. Uh, I wish I'd uh, originated that, but I didn't. Uh, oh. Some a preacher named Chuck Swindoll said that originally. So you didn't coin it, but you no, can use it. But I'll give him credit because it's a good word. Mm -hmm. Life is making up his mind at home, and because of that, as parents and grandparents, even if we're running solo and a single mom or dad, we got to be deliberate about this. And the more we can bring the best out of each other. Uh, the, 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 the more I think we transform a person's view of the bigger mm -hmm. life that they're living and set them up for having when more success. When does that start, though, uh, as a parent? Does it start at five months? Does it start okay. at a year? Great Where do we question. start with that? My wife has a, a theory on exactly when you want to start building a sense of grace into your home, and that's the second that baby takes its first breath. I mean, it's right out of the wow. box. Mm -hmm. You create an, uh, an atmosphere. If th th think about this. What, what, what if we're doing this show and, and everything that we're doing, you know, is going just exactly right and you're all dressed just the way, except it's 20 degrees in this room. Hmm. You know, we, we've experienced that, yeah, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. but, but the point is, is that we would have a very difficult time focusing and mm -hmm. paying attention and, and building off of one another because we'd be just so distracted. Mm -hmm. And I think in a lot of families, mm -hmm. there's a room temperature that you can create uh, an atmosphere that just automatically shows honor and respect, even, even when we have to stand under a kid's air hose. Because we, we give birth to knuckleheads, uh -huh. uh, and, and, and then we have a bunch of incompetent people raising them. That's called family. When none well, of us what, know what, what happens, we're doing. In, in today's world, there's so many books of raising children, and I think many parents are afraid to make mistakes, but aren't mistakes a part of life as we're raising well, children? Well, exactly. You know, the, the, the key is not, uh, you know, I, I wrote a book called Raising Kids Who Turn Out Right. Because we, if, if we're trying to raise, do, do everything right, then we want our kids to go through childhood right. Well, that just makes us a bunch of, uh, of a scorecard type parents. We're keeping their, their, mm -hmm. their, their uh, checking up on their, their performance. Mm -hmm. Well, they know they're going to fall short. And after a while, they say, you know what, this isn't worth it. I think I'll just save myself and all of us a lot of trouble and just go my own little selfish way. And then we've made a mess out of it. No, you don't need to do any of that. We can still have rules and regulations. We can still have consequences because I think discipline mm -hmm. and consequences sure. are a form of saying, exactly. I love you. And, and you know, I think years ago, uh, my parents and your parents probably and mm -hmm. grandparents, uh, it was the school of object lessons. Mm -hmm. We no longer give our children object mm -hmm. lessons. Yeah. And discipline is a word that I, I don't even believe any of us know how to say, spell, or Mm -hmm. Children don't even know the word. Well, I think it's a, I think a discipline is a high form of love, discipline and correction. I'm talking about proper discipline and correction. It's saying to your children, I love you too much for you to grow up and be mm -hmm. a fool. Exactly. I love you too much for you to mm -hmm. grow up and waste your, all your potential. I'm going to correct you as Isn't we Isn't that the action that we're after? I love you, but I don't like the action that you just right, did. Right, right, right. And yeah, but, but see, a lot of discipline today is revenge or it's, it, it, it's explosion and frustration. Well, that's not really discipline. That, that's, that's anger. That, 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 that's anger. That's you, you know, discipline is that you do your homework a certain time. You will complete mm -hmm. your homework. Mm -hmm. You will do the chores around yeah. the house. You will not 
go someplace, I tell you that you mm -hmm. can't go. Right. And it's, it, it's not because I say so, but mm -hmm. a parent is older and wiser. They've been there. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not because we say it, right. it's just because it is a fact. Well, well you, you're building moral boundaries. You have, you have moral boundaries and then you have practical boundaries because mm -hmm. we're yeah. a family. But doctor, right. what about when a, when a child becomes combatant? Because there's many, many parents that will move back. They, they want their kids to love them. So what, what happens when a child becomes combatant in a verbal way? As Tanya just mentioned, you know, you won't go out tonight. Oh, yes, I will go out tonight and I'll do whatever I want. And you can't stop me. What, 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 what do we do in those situations? Well, first of all, that's fairly normal for a lot of kids because they go through that series, of, mm -hmm. that, that period of time where they say, I actually think I am the center of the universe. Oh, yeah. And, and, and yeah. nobody knows better my best interest better than me. Even they might be three, mm -hmm. or they might be thirteen, and that's when that's where we need to just very. First of all, don't take it personally. That's the number one thing I tell parents when kids start just don't take it personally, because mm -hmm. if you take it personally, you're going to react. They've t you've taken the bait. Now they got you. And right, we can, and, and we... children know whatever age. Children know when they hook you. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just don't take it personally. But I just, oh, that's that's a that's a real shame. We went that direction. That's going to cost you. <laughs> and then here come the keys. And you know, that's you, a great tag. You know, I like you, that. <laughs> you know, you just you just start. You just start. You, you have all the money. You know where they sleep. But isn't that the <laughs> weakness of a lot of parents? They want to buy the kids love. They want the kid to love them. Well, you and can't. So that exactly, that's a weakness. Actually, you know what is showing up? It's the parent's insecurity. It's, it's saying, I, I, want, I want you to stroke my ego. I want you to be an extension of my ego. Well, kids don't want that. They want to be your child, your son or daughter. But listen, it's very complicated because all of us have our issues. We sure. all walk around on feet of clay. But I do think that with deliberateness, we can get beyond. Dr. Kimmel, stay, uh, stay with us. We're going to take a short commercial okay. break. When we come back, more with Dr. Tim Kimmel. He is Executive Director of Family Matters.